What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And of course yesterday we got the reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This was mainly a campaign reveal, but Activision did give out a lot of information talking about the campaign and of course some other stuff coming to the game for multiplayer. The official multiplayer reveal will be September the 9th, so make sure you keep a heads up for that and watch it. Uh, because the trailer for the campaign was actually was very good. If you have not seen it, I will link it down in the description below. This is going to be a bit longer video than usual, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the different versions that you can pre-order of the game. Now, they did say there will be an open beta for the game. Uh, of course, Activision has partnered with PlayStation once again, so the open beta early access will be first on PS4. But it is an open beta, so if you do not want to pre-order the game, you still will be able to play it. But just keep in mind, if you do pre-order it, you will get early access to it. Um, the different versions that you can pre-order are kind of confusing. So be aware when you're purchasing uh, when you're purchasing this, uh, kind of understand that you're purchasing this for this generation and of course the new generation of consoles. Um, they say if you purchase the game just for this gen, you will have to pay ten dollars to upgrade it for the next generation of consoles. Also be aware if you buy a disc version of the game, and for example, you bought it on PS4 and you bought the disc version of Black Ops Cold War and you decided to buy the digital version of the PS5. Of course, the digital version of the PS5 does not have a disk drive, so it's digital only. So that game would not work. You would have to purchase the game over again. So just be aware of what all these different offers kind of give and you know what you're gonna be buying in the future when it comes to new generation consoles. I think the best edition, of course, if you have not looked at all the different editions you can pre-order, is probably the cross-gen bundle. It says this, game, the, this bundle will give you the of course, if you buy it on PS4 or Xbox, so just for example, if you purchase this on PS4, you will receive digital entitlement to both the PS4 versions and the PS5 versions of the game. The same goes for the Xbox. You would get it for the Xbox One and receive digital entitlement for the Xbox One Series X. So that is the cross-gen bundle, and I think that's probably going to be one of the more popular ones that people go with. That way they can play it on old gen when it's released, and then of course when it when the new consoles come out they will already have a copy for the new generation consoles also be aware activision did announce that this generation uh, of their games are going to go up in price ten dollars uh kind of an increase of ten dollars uh here in the u.s games are 59.99 uh, for call of duty so when it comes to new generation games they're going to be uh, for in the call of duty franchise they're going to be 69.99 and that cross-gen bundle that i just mentioned is also listed at 69.99 in our PlayStation Store here in the United States. Uh, some other things they did, of course, talk about was single player. Now, Raven Software is the development team doing the single player story. And from what we saw, the single player story looked really good. But from what I heard, I was really excited even more about the single player. Uh, they said you're going to be able to create your own character for the campaign, which was something new for Call of Duty. Also, they kind of talked about, and, and some things have come out after the reveal. Uh, of having side quest uh, where it's kind of like it's going to take you and say you can go just anywhere you want go across the map discover these side quests which makes it sound a little bit more open world than your normal call of duty campaign which is as we all know kind of go from point a to point b have a cutscene, do some fighting have a cutscene, that kind of thing till the end now it, being able to have uh, the option to go across the map and do side quests makes it sound like it's a little bit more of an open world style game they also talked about uh, having multiple endings, which makes it sound like you're going to have options within the game that's going to kind of change the outcome of what you get at the end, which I think is a good thing for Call of Duty, which I think is a good thing for most games this day and age. A lot of people want choices when it comes to games. A lot of people want more open worldness uh, in, in a campaign or in a story mode. And I think Raven, from what they have talked about and what they have shown, I think so far it looks like it's shaping up to be a really good campaign. Of course, we'll know more information in the future. But all of these things that have been added in to make this a little bit different than some of the past Call of Duty titles or the past Call of Duty campaigns, I think so far it looks like we could have a really good campaign kind of uh, coming to us with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, some other things they did talk about uh, really quickly, of course, were, you know, how, I guess a little bit of how the multiplayer was going to work DLC-wise. They said all DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will be free, so pretty much the exact same concept as we have here in Modern Warfare. Also, there will be a battle pass, which is pretty obvious. I think most people kind of have assumed now that that's what it's going to be in the future. 
you're not going to be paying for DLC anymore. You're just going to be paying for a battle pass uh, from season to season. And also they said there will be crossplay, which I know is a lot of people may have a lot of people kind of upset or, you know, kind of unhappy. I, I know some people don't like crossplay. I know on PS4, at least on Modern Warfare, you can disable it. I'm not sure about other platforms on PC or Xbox if you can disable it. There was no mention in this, of course, kind of reveal if you could disable it or not. Um, I know a lot of people kind of have been upset when they're or been upset with the crossplay situation because of the amount of cheating that's going on in the game, uh, whether it be in Warzone or in multiplayer. So hopefully there will be some more information kind of come out about this if you can disable this crossplay or not. But I just want to let you guys know there will be crossplay. Uh, there will be, of course, a you know a battle pass available. And all the DLC that comes out will be free. So that's really good news uh, kind of on that front. Because if the game prices are going up, I know a lot of people don't really want to pay for DLC, uh, you know, month to month or for, you know, for the entire year. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know a, kind of what you thought about the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War uh, kind of reveal. Like I said, that multiplayer reveal will be coming out September the 9th. Of course, we don't have a official date for the open beta yet. Let me know if you're going to pre-order the game so you can get in that open beta early access or you're just going to wait kind of for the open beta to be out for everyone. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you don't know my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.